Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to convert a factor to a date object in the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the factor that we can create with lines 2 to 6 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see that a new factor object appears at the top right of RStudio and we can print this factor to the RStudio console by running line 7 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our example factor contains five different dates. However, this data object is converted to the factor class. If we want to convert this factor to the date class, we can apply the sDate function as you can see in line nine of the code. So within the sDate function, we need to specify the name of our factor. So in this case, our factor is called myFact. And then we also need to specify the format of our dates. So in this case, the first part of the date is the year, the second part is the month, and the third part is the day. So if you run line nine of the code, you can see that a new data object appears at the top right of RStudio, which is called mydates1. And we can print this date object to the RStudio console by running line 10 of the code. And then you can see that a new vector is returned. And you can see that this new vector does not contain the factor levels of our input data. And we can also check the class of our new data object by running line 12 of the code. So within this line of code, I'm using the class function to check the class of our new data object. And as you can see, after running line 12 of the code, the class of our new data object is the date class. So in this first example, I have explained how to convert a factor to the date class using the basic features of the R programming language. However, it is also possible to use an add-on package in the R programming language, which is very popular for the manipulation of dates. And this package is called LubriDate. And in order to use the functions of this package, we first need to install and load the package, as you can see in lines 14 and 15 of the code. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 15. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the YMD function of the LubriDate package, as you can see in line 17. And within this function, we simply need to specify the name of our factor vector. So if you run line 17 of the code, you can see that another date object is appearing at the top right of RStudio, which is called MyDates2. And we can print this date object to the RStudio console by running line 18 of the code. And then you can see that the output of the YMD function looks exactly the same as the output of the sDate function. And you can also see by running line 20 of the code that the class of this new data object is the date class. So in this video, I have explained in two examples how to convert a factor to the date class in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on the homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail, and I will put a link to this tutorial in the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments, and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.